हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय इंग्लिश क्लास ऑफ ग्रेट नाइन डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द एक्सरसाइज सॉल्यूशन ऑफ रीडिंग पार्ट फर्स्ट फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर सेवेंटीन दैट इज द टेक्स्ट वी हैव डिस्कस अर्लियर दैट इज मूवी रिव्यू ऑफ चेजिंग आइज स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इट्स टेक्स्ट ऑलरेडी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो now in today's class we will discuss about the exercise solution of this reading part 2 our first exercise we have students so uh, match the following words with their meanings here uh, on the right side on the left side we can see some words are given here and meanings of these words are given on the right side here and you have to match these words with their accurate meaning the first one is students we have it's a uh, reluctant reluctant means students it's a uh, number 5 okay it's a uh, hesitate it's a uh, hesitating to do something it's a uh, intriguing b number it's a uh, four one arising it's a uh, arousing you know once curiously or interest fascinating c number excuse it it's a uh, one number extremely beautiful or careful made it's a avalanche it's a bigger one a mass it's a mass of snow ice and rock that falls down a sides of a mountain and the overwhelming is e number it's number 3 very great so powerful that you cannot resist it finally is f number credibility number 4 Uh, number six, the quality of being trusted and the belief in. A uh, student, this is all about your words meaning. Now we have next exercise that is B number. It's a crossword puzzle. Across side we can see number three, number five, and six students, and uh, meanings are given here. You just need to find out the words. Okay, the first letter of the word is already given in the crossword puzzle. I, it's I can. Uh, uh students you can do yourself uh, i don't i don't need to explain all these right students okay i hope students you will do that uh, now it's time to move next exercise Uh, next is he, uh, C number. Complete the sentences with the appropriate words, phrases from the text. Ice changing. Uh, students, you have to find out some words, uh, right words, and appropriate words from the text. Uh, then you have to fill in the blanks over here. The first one we have: the changing ice glacial erosion is the result of. It's a result of climate change. Is the right word. B number the beginning of the film is set in yes uh, it was set in where Los Angeles November twenty third and it was the release date of that movie. James Bellog began his project with the photograph program called Extreme Ice Survey. D number Bellog wanted to go back to the scene of the photograph to the see how glacier had changed. Uh, he was talking about the glacier uh, you know erosion throughout the movie. The movie, the film is based on both data and the scientific fact. Yes, of course, it was uh, it was the combination of uh, data and uh, scientific logic. The F number, the audience can have a better view of image. Yes, if the screen is bigger, then audience can have a, a good view of the image. Balog project team consists of its uh, yes glaciologist and the climatologist. they also they were willing to take the footage of the glacier erosion and h number final the depression doubting about the dot me hesitate to see the film theories on the environment a person they are who are having doubt and misbelief about the theories on the environment they you know they might uh, hesitate to see that film now next one we have d number answer the following question Uh, here are some question given students i have written the answer of these questions have a look at the answer that i have written
okay students so here is the answer number first answer number a changing uh, what kind of film the changing eyes uh, it was uh, you know it is a film documentary film yes uh, changing eyes is a documentary film our uh, second one is uh, what is the main object of the this film is what is the main object its main object is to supply the striking picture and to provide the a real picture of how climate change has caused the glacial erosion the glacial erosion this is the main object of the film again see why did balog and his team set up cameras in different places why they uh, set up their cameras in different places uh, the camera they set up cameras in totally different places to be checked over the course of three you know course uh, three a long time course of three years a long time here i have a mistake okay a written mistake typing mistake three years it took them three years to complete that uh, project and uh, they have uh, placed the cameras in different places to have to have uh, uh, the images and a footage of uh, ice erosion d number what have the audience experienced that's happening in the arctic zone yes uh, he narrates uh, this effectively in combine it's a combine um, it's a combined information and logic truth and with the visually appealing pictures make a difference of the different the group of viewers encounter what is happening within the cold zone cold zone here student arctic zone how did balog try to make the film interesting yes uh, how he tried to make the film very interesting he tried and he attempted to create the film curiously by clarifying his strategies and translating it in a simple way why changing i say worthwhile film yes it's a beneficial film since it combines interesting stories about the ice erosion this is all about your questions and answer students now move to the next exercise Uh, next we have e number walk in group of 4 5 suggest five practical way to solve down the adverse effect of climate change as uh, students in this exercise you have to walk in a group of 4 or 5 where you will suggest a uh, five practical way you know five practical way to slow down to slow down the adverse the bad impact of the climate change uh, students uh, i have uh, solve this exercise uh, you can take the help from there i have a look at the answer of this exercise first okay here i have solved this exercise students uh, there are numerous uh, you can say common senses and we to moderate down the slow down the is entologist impact of the climate alter you know, there are many ways we Ah, uh, we can follow to slow down the climate change. I have written uh, the all the answers, uh, all the you know, uh, some steps uh, how we can control the climate change. And this is I have written here, students. You can write from here. Ah, uh, there are one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, these are some points I have mentioned. I hope students uh, you will do that uh, now. it's time to move next exercise uh, next we have students speaking part it's a speaking part 1 exercise number b work in a pair have similar conversation in the following situation using must cannot may or might uh, here is an example given suman is not at home okay these are office hours you know these are the office hours 
so you can make a pair you can walk in a pair a where is suman then b he must be in his office then you have to use uh, must be, uh, it might be, can't, ma, you know, may. These are some situation you can use. The first one, they are coming this week, but I'm not sure I will probably come tomorrow. So here I, I know I have solved this uh, whole exercise. You can uh, write from here. The first one, a, when are they coming? They may come tomorrow. This is how you can make work in appear. Similarly, B number Dolma is not sure that she will pass the exam. Then A, will Dolma pass the exam? No, she can't pass the exam. If you can, you know, if you write here yes, then you can uh, say she can pass the exam. So this is how you can solve, you know, you can do that exercise. I hope students, uh, you will do that again. Now it's time to move next exercise. Again, C number. You met a friend at a party and started talking about your day. So here I ask his opinion about the things below. Your friends will answer you. Yes, in this exercise, you will ask about the thing given below and your friends will ask a response. They will use must cannot these models okay may or might have a look at this yeah this is the this is the solution or uh, this is the Your student, this is the solution of exercise numbers C, where I have uh, solved this exercise, speaking part 1, C number exercise. Here, my father wasn't in a very good mood when today when I reached home from school. So here I have solved this one. A, how is your father mood today? Then you can, you can, you know, B person can respond using models with his mood is not good today i think he must have come problem he must have some problem i have used that model must similarly b number my english teacher got a phone call during the class and left us room immediately he looked very worried at time again why did your english teacher left the school b perhaps he might have been called by someone again i have used might so students, in this exercise, uh, you will be asked something, you will give on a situation, then you have to respond uh, by using models, might, may, could, okay? So this is how you can solve. I hope students, you will do that again. Then now, grammar part one that we will solve here. The first exercise, filling the gap with the correct form of verb in the bracket okay we have verb in the bracket given and uh, then we have to use the correct form i dot dot that has no time to do additional i will have no time to do additional project next year then this uh somebody that has had finished her work before this is the we have people use here present a uh, past perfect one okay because before her parents return in the second, you can see after before there is past indefinite. My uncle will have learned to talk in English by the time and the future perfect one. D number, I will be staying at our mill till Monday. Next one. E number, the worker that was will have built the building for the next two months. Again, future perfect. You will find the meaning of the unfamiliar word. Again, future indefinite. We will be staying at Damoji, Damoli it's next, uh, up till next Saturday. Again, future continues. I will, I think our team will win. Again, future 
hope of a future definite by 11 pm tonight she will have prepared the report after i finish my work i will watch the tv for some time again future indefinite and last one again will rain is future indefinite uh, students it's all about your grammar part now b b is uh, write the following a paragraph use the verb in the future tense again you have to use the future tense then you have to write a paragraph have a look at the answer of this exercise Uh, here is the solution of this exercise number B grammar part here I have I have written the paragraph about visiting Her Majesty and uh, where I have used the future tense you know will travel I have underlined the tense future tense will disgust will staff okay will again will exchange will show there are you know, many sentences where I have used future indefinite so students here uh, this is a uh, I have written here and uh, you can write from your students uh, uh, that's all for the grammar part now move to its uh, writing part okay in writing part we have again a short review of your favorite movie you may use a movie review in reading fast as a model okay you can take the help of reading first movie review that we have discussed in a previous class and here you have to write a short review of your favorite movie or uh, what is your favorite movie you have to write a review about that that you have recently viewed and that you like the most okay students i have written the review of my favorite movie have a look at the answer of this exercise yeah this is the movie review of my favorite one that i made here uh, students uh, this is a movie it's a shatru gathe as a comedy film okay it's a nepali movie and uh, i have uh, a made a review of this movie and it was uh, really you know very entertaining and comedy movie I, I like watching comedy movie that's why i do the review of this one uh, if you like any other movie you can do that uh, one students uh, uh, i hope students you will do that and uh, with that students all about today's class uh, all about the exercise and solution in today's class i will come with new unit in the next unit uh, ne uh, next video till then students uh, keep watching my videos see you in the next one have a good day my dear students